Hey everybody and welcome to the second video in the bootstrap series. So in this video we're actually going to be going and getting everything that we need to build our bootstrap website. Uh, but before we start downloading stuff, let's go ahead and uh, go to our desktop and we want to create a new folder and you can name this folder anything you want. Just make sure to remember the name. Um, I'm just going to name mine a bootstrap and you'll see why we're doing this here in just a second. So. Uh, now go over to uh, getbootstrap.com and instead of downloading Bootstrap from the home page we want to go up here to the navigation and go to customize and once you're on this page just scroll all the way down to the very bottom and we're going to download it from this page right here and the reason is is because if you just download it from the home page it kind of gives you a bunch of files and we're not really going to use them all whereas if you download it from this page it gives you kind of a simplified version and it's actually just the files that we really need so uh, click compile and download and once you have uh, downloaded that file go ahead and find it and um, it might be in a zip folder uh, it should be called bootstrap and unzip it and go to the folder and open it and you should see a uh, JS fonts and CSS we want to copy those three folders so go ahead and do that and then we want to go to that folder that we just created on our desktop and we want to paste these three items in that folder so go ahead and do that and once you've done that um, go ahead and open up your text editor whatever you use uh, like I said we'll be using text wrangler and first thing we want to do before we start is we want to go ahead and save this file as an HTML file so go to file save as and find the folder we created on the desktop and go ahead and select it make sure not to select the folders inside it just that main folder we created on the desktop and then we want to go up here and we want to change the name uh, we want to change it to index.html and the most important part is the .html part because that's what lets the web browser know that this is an HTML file and to render it as a web page so once you have that done go ahead and click save and now we're ready to start coding our website um, Bootstrap uses HTML5, so uh, if you've never used it before, that's what we're going to be using. Uh, the first thing we need is the doc type, and the HTML5 doc type is doc type HTML. Um, and then we want the opening HTML tag, and we want a closing HTML tag and in between these let's give ourselves some space and we want a opening head tag and a closing head tag and then right below that we want a opening body tag and a closing body tag and everything that's going to be in between these body tags right here this is what's actually going to be seen by people that visit your website so if they go to your URL this is all the content in between these two is what is actually going to be shown uh, in the web browser so the next thing we want to do is we're just going to go in up here in the head section and we're going to add a title so go ahead and do the opening and closing tags for the title and this is going to show up in the open tab that you have in the web browser so we're just going to name this uh, bootstrap website next thing we need to do is now we want to link this file to the bootstrap files that we just downloaded so in order to do that we want to go ahead and do link href equals and then this is going to be the path to the CSS style sheets that Bootstrap uses. So this first one is going to be a CSS forward slash. And then uh, let's go and make sure what the file is. 
and we want this bootstrap.min.css. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and put right here. Bootstrap.min.css. And it is relationship. And it's gonna be style sheet. And uh, that's gonna be it. Now, the next thing is going to be linking the JavaScript file that Bootstrap has. And again, we want the bootstrap.min.js. So in order to do that, we want to go ahead and put a script tag, an opening and closing script tag. And then in the, not in between the two, but in the first one, uh, we're going to put source equals and the source is going to be the location of that bootstrap.min.js so we're going to put js forward slash bootstrap.min.css uh, or not css, js sorry and that is the link to that now the next thing we want is jquery because bootstrap uses jquery to uh, render a lot of the uh, styles that it has and that it uses for the web page. So uh, let's go to jQuery.com and on the home page we're going to go to download jQuery and once you're on that page instead of actually downloading a file and having to add that file to our folder we're just going to go ahead and scroll down here on this page until you see using jQuery with a CDN and what this means is that this file is hosted on a server somewhere and all we have to do is link to that server and we can use that jQuery instead of having to have the folder in our folder so go ahead and just get the from the opening script tag to the closing script tag and make sure it's this top one right here that says jQuery 1.11.0 um, go ahead and copy that one and then go back over here to our text editor and above this JavaScript uh, script tag right here is where we want to paste this one so now we have the jQuery uh, link in our file um, the next thing we want to do is we want to go up here to file and we want to go to new and we're going to go to uh, file and save as and this is going to be our CSS style sheet that we're going to use to override some of the bootstrap styles that way we're able to style our website how we want it if we want to change some stuff that uh, bootstrap already has set we don't want to actually go in bootstrap CSS file and start changing stuff around we just want to override it with our own so we're going to name this one uh, styles.css and make sure the extension is the uh, .css make sure you're saving it uh, in this uh, file you created or the folder you created on the desktop and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna save it in the CSS folder right here with the other CSS style sheets so uh, make sure you have that selected and go ahead and just hit save and so we're not gonna do anything with this right now I just want to go ahead and uh, we're gonna go back to our index.html and we're gonna link that style sheet to our index.html also and we want it to come after the bootstrap CSS style sheet that way it overrides it because it, it kinda goes in order the web browser does so if it opens this page and it's scanning along down here it comes to bootstrap CSS first and then it's gonna come to our overriding style sheet so it'll override anything before it so we want to do another link tag uh, href and we want to do CSS forward slash styles um, dot CSS and relation oops is style sheet and then get outside that and do the little ending uh, greater than sign so now we have that let's just go up here to file uh, save and to test to see if this works we're gonna go down here in the body and we're just gonna put a 
H1 tag, which is a heading one tag, and uh, in between it, we're gonna put uh, hello world, and we're gonna go back up here to file. We're gonna hit save, and now we're gonna go to our web browser, and we're gonna go up here to file, open file, and we're gonna find that folder that we're using on our desktop and we're gonna open it and inside it we're gonna find the index.html that we've been working with and that's the file that you wanna open so we open that and here we are uh, we can tell that it's working because of this font style right here um, this is the bootstrap default font style so we now know that all our links to our other folders inside uh, our desktop folders they're linked correctly and now we're ready to start building our website so uh, don't forget to click the subscribe button below this video uh, keep following along uh, in the next video we're going to be adding uh, our site's navigation and maybe a few other things depending on how much time we have in that video but uh, if you're having any trouble so far just don't forget to leave a comment and I'll help you out